has it been with the maize this year? It's funny you should ask. We had good rains. I planted about the same acreage like last year. And yet I'm about three bags short out of every ten. I've only just now realized when I was bagging the maize for milling. That's strange. You've either got a thief with two or four legs or some other pest by the sound of things. I'm about 25 bags short, and that seems far too much for a pest to get away with. And now I have to drive all the way to the city to deposit only two thirds of the money I usually do. Gosh, I wasted half the day. The goats. You, come. Oh, wait. What else could go wrong today? <laughs> Mr. Washington, coming to gloat, are we? Um, what happened? Did you just step on a banana peel and went flying <whistles> all the way to the ground? It must have really had to hit rock bottom. <laughs> Maybe we should borrow from the bank. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Why doesn't your behavior surprise me? And who is going to get you out of this? <laughs> Let's see. Your husband? Oops. He's just found out that his precious wife has been out night dancing with the village star. <laughs> and what does the village star do after breaking up their little marriage? He pulls the poor woman's only source of income off her. <laughs> I may be down, but I'm not out. These things have gone too far, Barnett. I have lost 25 bags of maize. That is how much less I've harvested than last year. Oh, my dear, that is terrible. And our costs are going higher. I'm going to have to make some very serious cuts around here. I can't imagine how you'll be able to do that. Well, the bloody school fees, food for the house, your clothes. And I do have to maintain a position around here. And Speedy, that guy is eating us out of a house and home. He will just have to go. Albert. Albert. Al Albert. Please, go away. Let me explain. I'm not interested. You must have made a mistake. It's Gary's you want, isn't it? You know where he lives. I'm not interested in him. I never was. Tell it to someone who cares. I'll come out here until you hear me out. And you know how shameless I can be. I don't know you anymore. Just leave. <sighs> Albert, open this door and let me in. Open this door. If I ever meant anything to you, Albert, let me... Explain. He loves me. And I love him, and that's the way we're gonna keep it from now on. He loves me, and I love him. Okay, now what? Do you want to help me or not? Why are you doing this? This is not the time to give up. We should be reading for exams, not trying to prove Caris wrong. And why not? He thinks I haven't got what it takes to be a professional singer. Well, I want to prove to him that he is wrong. You know what? This is way out of my league. I should go. Is that fear speaking? What do you mean, fear? Fear that daddy dearest will be angry that you're not working in the shamba. I thought that you would learn to stand up to your parents. I have no intention of disrespecting my parents. Look. You're not disrespecting your parents. You're just showing them that you have a right to choose how you want to live your life. You're so scared of your father. Everything he says is law to you. You need to stand up and fight for your rights. What's that? <laughs> hey, my speedy, what's wrong? Boss has sacked me. He's even going to take my bicycle. What? Why? He says I ate all the maize, 25 bucks. Maize? 25 bucks, I don't know what I'm going to do. I promised Daisy I walked by the river. She'll think I lied. <laughs> don't worry, I'll talk to him. He'll have to listen to me. Listen, my speedy. People will take care of it, okay? Please let me explain. 
If you feel you have to talk, just go ahead. I have some work to do. I meant to hurt you. You did. But I did not plan for what happened to happen. Of course you didn't. Too bad I found out. Otherwise it would have gone on right under my nose. We had ended it before you came. Mm, how convenient. What do you want me to say? You're the one who cheated. Surely you must have a lot to say. I'm sorry. At least say something. You were supposed to come. I waited for you the whole night and when you didn't turn up... You decided to sleep with someone else. No. I mean, yes, but I didn't plan it. It just happened that you forgot that you were married. I mean, does that count anymore? Do you think it's okay to have a generous wife? You're no different from a prostitute. How can you call me a... And did you think about me? About whether I could catch AIDS or some STD from your fancy man? We used a condom. Of course I wouldn't put you at risk. You were never there. So help yourself. The husband is not home. She's ready for anyone. Are you joking? Do you know how much I've lost? There must be a mistake somewhere. Why is it my speedy's fault? If that fellow didn't need it, you'd probably give it to the cow. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you had a low harvest. Maybe there's something wrong with the soil. It could be anything. Are you now trying to tell me that my farm is the problem? Huh. Your speedy is a saint, isn't he? But he works really hard for you. Now, I don't want to discuss this with you anymore. I mean, we've all got to help to make savings around here. You've got to do what he does instead of going off to be with that girl or playing football. You have to learn to be more responsible, PP. You're no longer a small boy. I'll never do anything to please you, will I? What are you on about? Look at me. I'm your son, not your employee. Do you ever ask me if I want to be a farmer? Do you know anything about me? I try to please you, but you never respect me. All you do is order me around and blame me when things go wrong. I have to make things work here for all of us. I mean, we've just lost a lot of maize. And here you are, acting spoiled, throwing tantrums, seeking for attention. Don't you know when to quit? I think you should leave. You can carry me and throw me out if you want. But I'm not leaving here until we resolve this. I have nothing to say to you. Good. Because I have plenty. You know, I like the way you easily judge me. But might you be interested in some of the reasons as to why it happened? Please, indulge me. Where have you been? When in our marriage have I ever mattered? When have I ever come first? Bottom line, Nancy. You cheated on me. I was vulnerable. Here I was with a sick father to look after, and I tried to reach out to you, but you were always so busy, you didn't care. Do you remember when I called you about the loan? The party? When I was opening shop? Do you remember how badly I wanted a baby? But you were always making excuses. Carice was there. He showed a little care. He lent me money, which he later used as bait to get me. I was lonely. You were not there, okay? I made the wrong choice. It was stupid of me. How much money? 40,000 shillings. I still owe him. So now, he also owns you? My brother says it is a very good idea. Hmm? I buy airtime for 1,200 shillings and sell it in small quantities, say 30 bob or 40 bob. How do you make your money? For every 150 airtime I sell, Seltel gives me 15 bob. How does the buyer get airtime? It's simple. I just SMS it to her. It's called Chap Chap. Penina. Huh? You shouldn't be here. You're still in money. I lost one. I have eight more children that depend on me. 
My friend, life has to go on. Mm. I have to work for my children to eat. It is really very strong of you. Mm? You know, it was my turn to have the merry-go-round money, but you can have it. Thank you. I'm sorry about little Johnny. I wasn't the best husband, but I don't deserve that. You hurt me. Bad. Really bad. Will you ever forgive me? I don't know. Only time will tell. I'm almost afraid to ask, but I need to know. What now? I mean, I would understand if you never want to see me again. But I'd really, really hate to lose you. Why did you do this to us? What are we going to do? I need time to think about things. I understand. I better get going. something. Hey, look at me. This is the woman you helped. I'm your friend. Thank you. I could use a friend right now. What are you looking at? Don't you have better things to do? I heard about the pharmacy. I know it's not enough. Uh, thank you, Penina, but I can't take that money. You need it more than I do. If you want to make me happy, go and buy you and your children mosquito nets. There's a demonstration of nets around the corner. And what are you doing here? You should be at home. My worries are nothing compared to the pain of losing a child. Life has to go on. No, I wish I had half the strength you do. But you do. You and I are cut from the same cloth. We are fighters. Now, what do you want? Uh, tomatoes, <laughs> vegetables, which, which ones would you like? <laughs> I'm lost now. I'm sorry, Speedy. But Dad wouldn't listen to me, as per usual. You know what we need? We need someone smart, someone clever to help us. Someone clever? Albert, you're clever. We have a real problem. You don't know the meaning of problems. But Albert, Dad sucked Speedy. He thinks I ate all the maize. I have a lot on my mind. Please! So, how are we today? Mr. Washington. In the flesh. You did not help my brother at all. It was too late. There was nothing I could do. Here. Take these and buy yourself some nice clothes. Is our plan still on? That's my wonderful girl. Pipi, get me a knife. What are you doing that for? Trying to save your life. That's your problem, right there. Me, stock borrower. I'll see what I can do to stop it. I think I still have some literature on this from college days. The nets are treated in insecticide. That kills the mosquitoes that bring the malaria before they kill you or your children. You can buy a mosquito net and treat it yourself with the chemical. Or you can buy a net that has been treated and which will last for exactly one year. You can also buy a net that lasts for a much longer time, but it's much more expensive. That is the best way to prevent malaria. Don't forget, most deaths from malaria occur in children under the age of five. So, it's very important, and I repeat again, very, very important for you to get a treated mosquito net for adults, but even more 
for the children. That seems sensible. How much are they? 320 shillings for a treated net. Hey! That is too expensive, Yawa. Eh? We are poor people. Eh. Not expensive for a child's life. Think of how much you'll spend on dawa and going to hospital. Yes, I spent 350 on dawa for Johnny and he still died. I'll take one for myself and three for my children. See how it reproduces? A moth lays eggs on the leaves. The eggs take three to five days to turn into lava, the most destructive stage. Because the lava feeds on the leaves and stems of the maize plant to sustain its reproductive cycle. It then becomes pupa from which a moth will come out and fly and lay eggs to the next plant. And the cycle goes on and on and on. So we should go off and slash all the maize with this in it and feed it to the cows. That's a good idea, Speedy, but there is a better one. Moths like to lay their eggs on the napier plant more than on the maize plant. Seven out of ten moths will lay their eggs on the napier, and only three moths will lay them on the maize plant. But how does that help us? You see, when the larva try to feed on the napier plant, the plant lets out a glue from the stem that traps the larva and prevents them from developing and multiplying. And the process stops there. So if we plant the napier around the maize... Then most of the stock borer will lay their eggs on the napier and their life cycle will end right there. Then you'll get lots more milk and lots more maize. More milk, more maize, that's got to be a good thing. And there's no second chance for the stock borer. Everybody needs a second chance. Lewet, I pass. Back and out. Good game. Would you please explain what's going on? This leaf has been fed on. Fed on? This is a pest called a stock borer. It feeds on the maize leaves and the inside of the maize stock. And so? When the maize leaves and the insides of the maize stock are eaten, the level of production is reduced. Surely not much. For every 10 bags of maize you harvest, you lose three bags to these pests because it feeds on the stem and the plant cannot grow properly. And how does that happen? The stock borer lays eggs on the plant, especially here, between the stem and the leaf sheath. Pesticides are very expensive, you know. There's another method, the natural way to deal with this. You plant the banner type of napier grass round your crop. The banner type is best because of its glue and its preference for laying eggs to the borer. Glue? You see, the stock borer prefers to lay its eggs on the napier grass leaf to the maize one. The catch is, after the larva, it's into the stalk of the napier grass, the plant lets out a glue which sticks on the larva and kills it. Such a tiny thing, yet so destructive. When you plant the first year, do it just before the rainy season. And why is that? So that the napier grass is taller than the maize and thus attracts the borer. Go on. You see, you plant it like this in three rows around the maize. I take it you know how to do this. You see, you harvest the napier when it's about two to three months old or when it's about three to four feet high. And you always start from the inner row working out so that there's always one row of fully grown napier grass around the maize. That way, even when the life cycle starts again, there's fresh napier for it to lay its eggs on and the maize remains unaffected. Mary, I can see you. Come here. Please, Mom. Shh. Why are you not in school? If you get behind, you're not going to cash up. I don't want your life to be like mine or Peggy's. Now what? Well, you know, it. I have... It's very difficult to do what's needed in school. Everyone was looking at me. I can't go back there. It is so embarrassing. Hmm? Mom, I've started my period. Oh, uh, oh uh, we need to talk. Shall we play another? Why don't we double the amount? Treble. <clears throat> It's a lot of money, my friend. Might just run me bankrupt. <laughs> Fortune favors only the brave ones, my friend. I hope I've not overestimated your courage. 
I match your bet. And I throw in my car keys. <laughs> That's the spirit. Uh, speaking of which, can I get your drink? Well, I hope you don't mind. I brought my own. Hey, Matt. It's Albert. Yeah, do you still want that thing? Give me 60. No, I can't go lower than that. Can you please send me the money? As soon as you can. <clears throat> hey, I really haven't thanked you enough for the advice you gave me. That was a tremendous job. How much do I owe you? Ah, uh, no, that was free information. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be losing money. So take it. You deserve it. OK, I'll take it. Thank you. You ought to start charging for your services. We need someone like you around, researching, investigating, solving problems. Well, it's just common sense, really. There are many ways to deal with pests by natural means. Really? Mm -hmm. Are there natural ways to control our idle sons? <laughs> Speedy, back to work. Hey, don't you want it anymore? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> D? It's time for your homework, son. Get out of our lives. Give me the keys to the padlock. I'm sure she's worth every penny, man. Every penny. She's not yours now. So stay very far away from her. Can I buy you another bottle of beer? <laughs> uh, why don't we invest more? Why not? But uh, if you look soon. Uh, just a minute. Where are they? I put everything in the right place. You're not trying to play me? I wouldn't do that. Who else knows about this? Uh, shall we continue? Uh, was it my turn? Yep. <sighs> Leave it I, I pass. Is something the matter? No. Everything is okay. Play on them. Uh, leave it. I. I pass. <laughs> Hmm, the back and game. You owe me quite a lot of money, my friend. I hope you'll be able to cover it. <laughs> In the meantime, I'll take the khakis. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>